it's a real thing. Intro, let's go with another flow. Ain't your average entertainment show. More than entertainment than what's on the screen. Connecting dots on what you see. I want to thank you, thank you, thank you for being part of our sneak peek coverage of season six of the 100. It's going to debut on the CW within a number of hours, no matter uh, maybe where you're at in the world, it's going to debut in hours. But I wanted to just share this with you right before kickoff of the new season. Congratulations, season seven is coming as well to really enjoy uh, the series. And if you think back to the series over 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 the years, just how these young, talented actors have grown right before our eyes and how we get a chance to be introduced to actors that we've watched on other uh, sci-fi shows and, and, and other shows out there that just the cast that that Jason has put together is it's just it's just awesome. The last episode of season five, we were introduced to a new character by the name of Jordan, and Jordan is the child of Monty and Harper. And when we first witnessed Jordan on that last uh, episode of season five, we got the sobering reminder that Monty and Harper weren't going to make it to 100 years in the future. So let's find out about Jordan's character. He's played by the talented Shannon Cook. So we got a glimpse of you last episode of season five. So talk about what we have to look forward to with your character. Well, Jordan has not touched the planet. He's not eaten anything besides green algae. He's not met anyone. He's not uh, put anything that he's learned or prepared for going to another planet into action. And he's also went to sleep and woke up and his parents were both gone. So there's a lot for him to have to deal with at the same time embodying the hope and the, uh, the humanity of what his parents left behind. But then also being surrounded by, you know, war, battle hardened, uh, you know, heroes and you know, people who have faults and, and baggage and things. So it's, uh, it's a lot. Yeah. Now, when we get a chance to see maybe some flashbacks with uh, Jordan being younger to what we're seeing uh, today, or can you speak on that? Uh, I definitely was hoping for that before I saw any of the scripts, but you guys will have to just wait and find out what happens. See, the, I've, I've been trying to get some spoilers all day. and can't get nothing. They're, they're, too well, they're, <laughs> they're too well seasoned. But yeah, there's uh, a whole new room of writers, so there's definitely um, all sorts of uh, great things coming. Now, were you a fan of the show uh, before you uh, got the part? Uh, yes, certainly. I mean, I, I have several friends who were in it, uh, so I uh, was watching the show beforehand, and I'd auditioned for Monty and, and Finn uh, when it first came out. Uh, well, it hadn't come out yet, but um, yeah, just a, 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 a big fan of uh, all the actors and the way they, they do their work. How cool is it to be acting in space? Yeah, I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to... To acting to, to do to, and to be on the CW, um, but this character is just such a gift because he's uh, he embodies so much of of what a, a humanity is. Um, it's just uh, yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite roles I've ever done. Now, are you a mix of your mother and father, or more of your father or more your mother? You're gonna fishing for the spoilers. Sure. Damn, this guy's gonna get angles, but I see them. I see them. I am a, you know, I guess I'm a mix. I'm definitely a mix of both, um, but. Uh, Christopher messaged me the day after I got the role, well, after I found out, he emailed me. I don't know how he got my email, but he said, welcome to the family and the subject. And he said, if you need anything, please feel free to reach out. And I really appreciate it. Even when I was on set doing the, um, the, the scene, uh, the, the last scene of on season five, he, I was like crying on my takes, but you don't, you don't see that in the final cut because I think it needed to be about Bellamy and Clark dealing with that. But he come behind me just like lightly touch my lower back and say, you okay, do you need anything? And he'd float off. Even though he, he had so much heavy stuff to, to perform himself, he wasn't thinking of himself. He was checking on me. And uh, that was, I was just blown away. It was an awesome job in that, uh, that episode. I mean, we felt it. You know, we, yeah. we, and when they showed Monty um, giving, like, the farewell message and everything, that, you know, I was almost bawling myself. I was like, no, you can't kill Monty off. He has to be in cryonic somewhere. You can't do it. But, yeah. you know, it is what it is sometime, right? Yeah, and just the way he did it was he left so much room for the audience to meet him in the middle. Uh, I, 
I really loved his performance and uh, yeah, I emailed him afterwards telling him how, how much I loved his, his, his work. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a real honor to, to, to try and uh, fill everyone's shoes. And think about this, if you have a love interest in season six, mm. she's going to be what, almost a thousand years old or something or what? How old is she going to be? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, how old is how old is Jordan really? Like yeah. he's like supposed to be a man, but like what's in his what's going on? Like, yeah, it's just uh, yeah, lot, lots to see. I mean, there's some there's some clips in the trailer you might be uh, you might be seeing, but uh, uh, there's there's lots in that trailer. I'm trying hard, aren't I? <laughs> You're doing a great job. <laughs> Thank great you. Job. Say that one more time. I'm doing what kind of job? You're doing a fantastic. You're doing a great job. You guys hear that? No, but I'm looking forward to season six and and hopefully. At Comic Con, after the season is dropped, we can have a frank discussion on everything that we've seen. I would love to. Yeah, I would love to. It was a pleasure talking to you. Hey, welcome to the family. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Awesome Ciao for now. I'd like to thank Shannon Cook for joining me and giving us an insight on his character. Even though we got a little snippet of it during the last episode of season five, but I don't know about you folks, but I'm looking so forward to season six. If you haven't caught up yet, start binge watching so that you can catch up season six and I'll catch up with the, the crew at Comic-Con so we can talk a little more. There will be no more spoilers. Well, I guess it may be some, but I appreciate them teasing us of what we have to look forward to in uh, the season of The 100. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Paul Amadeus Lane. Remember, you can always connect with me, paulamadeuslane.com. Until next time, folks, take care.